Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add something that is blatantly missing from Contact Form 7, and that is the ability to create hidden fields and add dynamic data to them. And it's quite easy, you just need a plugin. And unfortunately, a lot of the ways to extend the functionality of Contact Form 7 does come in the form of plugins. So if you wanna have a really robust, awesome set of features for your Contact Form 7, you do have to have a lot of plugins, which kinda of sucks but that's just the way it is. So we're gonna add a new plugin to add the hidden fields by going to plugins and then add new. And this plugin is called contact form seven modules. So I'm gonna look it up right now. And it is this plugin right here. We're gonna click on install now. So we're gonna click on activate and we see that contact form seven modules has been added here and this plugin actually adds a second plugin believe it or not that's contact form seven modules send all fields which we'll get into in a different video but it's a really cool plugin as well or a really cool function um, anyway so we're going to add hidden fields and this plugin adds functionality to your form uh, to your form editor so we're going to go to our contact form let's go to contact and then contact forms. I just have a really basic contact form seven form. Actually the one that comes with the form when you where when you install the plugin. This is the form it auto creates. And what has been added is this hidden field button via that plugin. I'm gonna add some space right before the submit button and then click on the hidden button. And it auto populates a name for you. I recommend you change the name to something more descriptive so that you can look at it in your form editor and you can read the field names and know what they're doing, what they're for. And the cool thing about hidden fields is you can add dynamic data. And there's a bunch of things that come in or that are available, made available by the plugin. And that's this list of items right here. So you could add in the post title, you just copy and paste that bit of code and put it into the value field. And I'm gonna change the name of the field to, uh, I'm gonna call it hidden. Post, post title, sorry. And now what's gonna happen is this hidden field is gonna pull the post title into this field whenever someone submits the form. Actually, that's not true. Whenever, whenever the form loads, it's gonna help pull this value into the field. And then if that form is submitted, it's gonna submit the, the value of that page title as well. Now this is not relevant if you only have your contact form on one page, but there's a lot of websites that have contact forms on multiple different pages. And this is an easy way to differentiate which form received the submission. And you can also, if you have um, contact forms on a lots of pages on your site, say even blog post pages, you could actually add in post author as, as one of the, the form fields, the hidden fields, which allows you to see which author is driving the most contact form submissions, which could be very useful information for you. And they all work the same way. Every time you want to add a new hidden field, I'm gonna click on insert tag right here to add this field. If you want to add another one, just make some more space. Click on hidden field again. I'm gonna add the post author this time. And I'm gonna call this post author for the field name. Then I'm gonna click on insert tag. And now I'm gonna save this. And if we go to our live form and refresh the page, Nothing is gonna have changed as far as we can see from the live version of the form. But I'm gonna right click right here, click on inspect, and we're gonna see if we have these new hidden fields in there and what their values are. So inside this form tag, we now have two hidden fields. One is called hidden post title, and the value of it is basic contact form, which is the title of my page. And we have another hidden field, post author, and the value is WP PhD which is the username of the author that created this page. So we're pulling that contact in dynamically. Now when the form is submitted, that information will be added to the email that's sent to us. But that's only true if we do one more thing. We have to go back to our form editor and we have to add this information into the mail tab. So adding it to your form is step one. Then we have to add it to the mail tab to actually add it to the email that's sent. So I've got a really basic mail message I will have those things right there and we have some more hidden fields that were added up here all the fields in your contact form we listed up here as short codes so I'm just going to add these to 
And there we go. And I'm going to save this. Now when we get the email submission, it's going to contain that hidden field information. So that's how we add hidden fields to Contact Form 7 and populate them with dynamic data. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, check us out on social media, and check out WPLearningLab.com where we publish more tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.